Hello guys, this is your host Freddy Filipino sa America Blog. Welcome to my new uh, edition of my blog for today. Uh, today date is uh, September 18, 2023. That is Monday. Time check is almost 5 p.m. in the afternoon here in the United States or Central Time. Now, I received uh, a letter from one of my uh, follower regarding uh, the profession of physical therapists there in the Philippines and uh, making some inquiries and I would like to help as far as uh, in, in, in the way I could I could give some kind of information. It's regarding about uh, a middle aged uh, physical therapist who would like to work here in the United States uh, for a job, okay? A licensed physical therapist working in a hospital receiving a very small amount. Very small amount that worth to being a licensed physical therapist in the Philippines. So what are the things that they need? There is no age limit as far as physical therapist is concerned. You could apply for a job here. First is, first it must be a licensed one, licensed physical therapist. And at least have an experience in a hospital uh, environment. Uh, working, of course, for uh, being a physical therapist. The, and also, he or she should apply for a visa, preferably an H-1B visa. Uh, also, this the candidate must meet um, a educational experience requirement, BS degree in physical therapy, of course. And um, and credential need to be accredited, okay? It must be accredited from the Physical Therapy Association there in the Philippines, okay? This is an important one because it must be, you must be accredited. And once you are done with those accreditation, you must first review, review and take the examination on NPTE the National Physical Therapy Examination. I think here in the United States, you need to take it up, okay? So, also, you must have a valid license from your home country that is in the Philippines. You must have a license. And, uh, and the other thing is, you must have completed a CAP, CAP T, C A P T E. Uh, accredited program meanings your 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 diploma your licensure just must be accredited so it is accredited okay if you are graduate from a university it must be accredited okay uh, so sometimes you finish your course in that accredited school that is the problem right right okay okay and here are some more tips okay uh, one caption is for the physical therapy is to obtain an H-1B visa, okay? For a specialty, these are a specialty occupation, okay? Okay. And to qualify for an H-1B visa, the physical therapy must have a bachelor's degree, as I said before, okay? Okay. And uh, guys, uh, for the physical therapists who, are, who would like to apply here, uh, I suggest that uh, you start early because it really takes months to finish the job, okay? Okay, uh, I could say that uh, you start reviewing now, start working, and while you start reviewing, you could apply it to the hospital you're working with. You just remember, every time that you review, every time that you read, every time that you do it, in, in, in uh, apply in the in the in the place of work in the hospital you are learning you are learning at the same time you gain the, uh, the experience you need and while waiting too it adds to your experience okay and don't forget your resume for a uh, job offer you need to submit your resume so that there will be a sponsor okay thank you this is your host Freddy Filipinos America blog 
Never hold your peace. Never hold your peace. In God we trust. Good luck to you, guys.